Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time, well this is one you've probably seen me do before actually, yes it's Coffee Talk. Uh, developed by Togue Productions, published by Chorus Worldwide Games and it's usually available for £11.74 slash $13.99 but it's still available with Xbox Game Pass. Now, if you noticed my previous video went down, it's because I had copyright issues coming out of my old badonk donk. So I've decided to re-upload it without the music this time, so hopefully it'll help me not get pulled up for being an apparent naughty boy. Uh, either way, if this is the first time you've played this, then hello and welcome to an ultimately chill game with a lot of talking and a lot of coffee making. Yeah, uh, <laughs> does what it says in the title. As for achievements, you'll play a, you'll play a story, replay a few days, do some challenges and play some music. It's very easy, but it'll take around three to four hours to complete just for the art takes time achievement where you need to spend a total of one hour making coffee art. Fun, fun aims. So as I said then, three to four hours for your completion. So with that being said then, well, let's do it, man. Right, so what we're going to do as soon as you begin, uh, you will get your first achievement there called Welcome to Coffee Talk. So... You're in here for the long haul now, boy. So just go ahead, smash through the dialogue with the A button, and enjoy until we get to our first bit. i got no idea what's going on, by the way. It's a bunch of creatures and stuff, and apparently a lot of them want coffee. Coffee never dies. So after what looked like a pretty dramatic intro, uh, now we're getting into the chill stuff. And it did look very dramatic. So we have a human lady. You can press the uh, right bumper here to fast forward. If you press the left bumper, uh, it'll just uh, auto, the, the dialogue will just automatically carry on. So if you just keep spamming the right bumper to get through the dialogue. Now, as you can see at the moment, we've got a couple of ingredients. We've got coffee, we've got green tea, we've got choco powder. And we've got milk. Now, obviously, the more we crack on, the more we will go for it. But first of all, you're going to pick coffee three times. Once you have picked coffee three times, you're going to press the A button to brew. Or if you've made a mistake, you can press the B button to reset. Uh, so once that is done and it is all brewed up, you can either trash it or serve it. Now, we'll be there's a couple of achievements for trashing it, but we'll do that uh, late, a lot later on. But now, serve it and you'll get your first brew. First brew achievement, it's great. So, that's uh, pretty much job done. So again, just keep spamming and tapping the uh, right bumper here to go forward. Now, you can literally just keep your finger on the right bumper and it'll just fly by. Uh, I'm only keeping it a little bit slower so you can keep up with a little bit. Now, uh, her name is Lua and we need chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. So go over to the chocolate powder, press the A button three times to get all chocolate ingredients. A button to brew, and job done again. Now, what you'll also notice a lot of the time is, uh, as we serve it again, and then we'll press the right bumper, of course, to go fast forwarding, you will need to put all of these um, specific ingredients in an order. So when I tell you to put it in, you know, say if it's coffee, chocolate, milk, you have to do it in that order, otherwise it'll say that the drink's wrong, and you'll actually miss out on achievement later on. So, uh, his name is Bailey's. Hilariously, for some reason, we need coffee, coffee, and milk. So there's, of course, coffee on the left. So coffee twice. Scroll over to milk, and there we go. Coffee, coffee, milk. Press the brew, and what we're also going to be doing is getting another achievement here. Again, nice and chill, very easy achievements. This time we can draw latte art. So that's what you do. Um, you can press um, up on the D-pad to pour the milk and invert it, etc. Um, I accidentally pressed the A button to serve it, so I, well, I didn't give him any latte art, but I got the It's a Masterpiece achievement anyway, so that's owl good. So, again, it's a very simple premise. Uh, buttons and combinations and everything are very easy, so hopefully we will start to get used to this nice and quickly. So for now, just keep fast forwarding. Oh, it's a depressing day if you're an elf and your name is Bailey's. Oh, no. Right, make him green tea, milk, and milk. 
So it's green tea, milk, and milk, and then brew it, and then, well, apparently, if, <laughs> if you've just been dumped, a uh, green tea latte makes perfect sense to uh, help you get over it. So we can just go ahead and serve it. This will be the last drink of the day. So apparently we've made our money from, what, four coffees? Job done. Yeah, that'll, uh, profits soaring right now. Um, oh, sad lady. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can also, um, what I didn't show you was, uh, obviously you can call your name whatever you want. And I called myself, um, very Italian, I think, name this one, Flick and a Bean. Flick. Had a bean. Now, not uh, too entirely sure what uh, not entirely sure what it means, but it's got something to do with coffee beans, I suppose. But anyway, flick and a bean. That's my name. Um, so I do apologise, but yes, you can choose any name that you want. Flick and a bean. Very Italian, like I said, or something. That's man. And also, like I said, like I said, you'll notice that there is no music because this time I'm not getting shut down for your precious copyright. <laughs> Anyway, carry on, and here we go for Georgie. Make sure it is a coffee, and then honey and honey. So coffee, honey, honey. Oh, honey, honey, because we've got two more ingredients on the shelf. And they're coffee, honey, honey. And give it a serve, and then fast forward the dialogue curve. Damn it. Now our old pal Freya's going to want something, and again, it's going to be a triple coffee, the espresso of life. The absolute, so yeah, coffee, 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 and then brew it. To me, coffee, coffee, coffee just sounds like <laughs> your toilet's going to be broken with a triple coffee. Damn, screweth thateth. Uh, there we go, everything and everyone seeming a bit normal uh, so far. Flick and a bean says, hey, come in, welcome, welcome. Right, we have two new characters here. Gala is the first one, and he wants coffee, coffee, and ginger, which is called a Jahe Tubruk, or Ja Tubruk, sorry. So coffee, coffee, ginger. And again, of course, because I am British, I will absolutely just screw up um, any names that... Uh, not easily recognizable. But anyway, uh, Hyde here, who is the guy on the left, he's going to want the same thing. So coffee, coffee, ginger. Once you've done this, fast forward all the dialogue. Um, again, by the way, there's a, there is a lot of interesting stuff going on. But, you know, people don't have time anymore. People just want achievements. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's him done. We will move on to day three. And here we go then, on to the promiscuous day three. There was another achievement that we're going to be getting. We got some Super Smiles, latest album, blah, blah, blah. It's a nicely decorated coffee shop, mine. But, uh, you know, cat's walking past the window. Snaggletooth right here, who looks very angry. But we're going to give her milk, honey, and honey. By the way, her name is Myrtle because she looks like a green turtle. And she's got a tooth that's bigger than 
<laughs> well, my entire head. Now, nah, milk, honey, and honey, my head's not that small. Otherwise, I'd be talking like this a little bit more, you know? Or something or other. Uh, serve that one up. And there she goes. She seems happy, I think. Uh, hmm. Now, just to add to the crazy, we've got a cat that turns into a young lady. Alrighty, Roo. Right, so because she's a cat, she's going to want the triple milk espresso. So it's milk, milk, and milk. And then you can brew that one. Okay. And once again, then, for our writer friend here, Freya, she's going to want the Triple Coffee Express. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew it up and watch her as her hair starts standing up on the edge of her head. How can people drink coffee, coffee, coffee? Is that... Is that uh, do you not crap your pants immediately? Am I just... Or is that just rumour? <laughs> anyway, we will get the Achievement Unlocked achievement after this one, too. So that's always handy. There it is. Achievement unlocked for unlocking an achievement. Congratulations. You are super key. Georgie, the looking normal policeman, is in. He's going to want some cough syrup, so we're going to give him some green tea, which is the second one on the shelf there. Green tea, lemon, and honey. The perfect combination for a sore throat for a man who looks... Well, he works for the police force, but he looks totally paranoid. What is going on? Hmm, corrupt police officers? Never. <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> Oh, it's Friday, so you know what that means. The busy rush of four more people wanting four coffees is about to begin. So first of all, Hyde appears, and he's going to want a ginger green tea. So we're going to give him green tea first, then ginger, and ginger. Oh, here we go. It's Freya. She's in. What do you think she's going to want? That's right. It's an STNJ. So she wants milk, ginger, and honey. So that is milk, ginger, and honey. So she's finally widening her horizons. Broadening her horizons. Uh, whatever, however the saying goes. Anyway, 
That does actually sound quite nice. So a bit of milk, a bit of ging, and a bit of honey. Here she comes, Lua the horny devil on her head is back and she's going to want a green tea latte. So give her some green tea, some milk and some more milk. So that's green tea, milk and milk. And the horny will get horny uh, on her head. That's what I mean. Most handsomely robust man is in the building. Gala. He wants a gala hat, which is tea, milk, and ginger. Not ginger vitus, of course, but regular old ginger. Tea, milk, ginger. And that will end this day, and we're on to Saturday. Hi everyone, welcome to Saturday. No double time, no overtime. Uh, well, you can work overtime, but, uh, oh, hello. It's a Moon Man. And, well, Moon Man is going to want coffee, coffee, and lemon. So coffee, coffee, and lemon, which is, the drink name is called Black Lemon. Which is uh, very uh, originally creative there. So in comes Myrtle, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. She is going to want a cafe latte, which is coffee, milk, and milk. So coffee, milk, and milk. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Myrtle will, well, she'll enjoy that one.
So, I bet you never thought you'd see that in a bar. Not even on Halloween. An astronaut and snaggletooth mutant ninja turtle. Right, we've got a new one now. It's a Fisher de Flapface. And she's going to want a little fishy drink. And she wants tea, ginger, and cinnamon. So, tea, just regular tea. So again, don't be confused with that one. So, tea, ginger, and cinnamon. We've got a new, another new one right there. Then brew that. Lovely. Now, can you guess what her actual name is? Yes, it's Aqua, because if anyone's got a fish and a flap face, just call him Aqua. Aquaman, or just Aqua, plain Aqua. Aquarific. Anyway, that's all the dialogue. End of day. Did, 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 did you just see that Spanish Sahara drink? Genuinely looks like someone's just put a sausage in my tea. And I am up for, I am definitely up for that. Uh, obviously, it was a cinnamon stick, I assume, but it looked more like a sausage. And I'm a sausage fan, you know? Right, so, up next is Aqua, who wants a Russian tea, which is tea, lemon, and cinnamon. So, tea, lemon, and cinnamon. That's a Russian tea. She won't be Russian to go to the toilet after this one, though. Not like the Triple Coffee Express, I don't assume. So, thank you, Fisher de Flapface. Right, Freya is... She's gone back to her espresso days. It's a triple coffee, the triple coffee express, brew it up and watch her buyance. And I bet you never thought we'd see Ned Flanders as a cat appear, did you? That is pure Flanderino style, I'm telling you. Hi, ho, neighborinos. So, Hendry, who's his real name, wants an STMG, J, which is milk, ginger, and honey. So, that is milk, ginger, and honey. Um, and apparently, that's, um, of course, non alcoholic. Uh, Ned Flanders' cat just prefers plain white bread with some milk, ginger, and honey in it. Tidy boy, tidy. Right, this will be the end of day. So, fast forward, let's crack on to the next day before Ned Flanders really bums us out. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, well, Flanders is 60.
that, on to the next day. We are on to day seven here, September, Monday, September 28th. Right. First of all, Gala is going to appear. There he is. Hello, handsome boy. I wish I had his hair and his beard, in all fairness. Uh, tea, milk, and ginger, please. So tea first, then milk, then ginger to give him a Gala had. And old Bailey's whiskey here is back. Uh, he wants a ginger latte, so give him some coffee, some ginger, and some milk. So that's coffee, ginger, and milk. And that will actually end this day. So again, fast forward to your heart's content and get old Elphias out of here. And here we get to see Gala and Hyde be a little closer. Anyway, Gala wants a drink and he wants a Gala had, which remember is tea, milk, and ginger. That's tea, milk, and I'm a ginger. Imagine asking someone's opinion and their actual name is Flicker the Bean. Um, <laughs> so, um, Hyde here wants tea, lemon, and honey. Hi there, Flicker the Bean. Can you get me tea, lemon, and honey? Anyway, uh, that one is called A Midsummer's Night Dream. By the way, you should be getting the We Are All Friends achievement here as soon as Neil appears. There he does appear. So, Neil, which obviously has no rel uh, no relevance to space or Neil Armstrong or anything like that. He wants a Milky Way, which is milk, honey, and mint. Doesn't even want a brew. He just wants milk, honey, and mint. Brew it up. And again, 
So we've got the achievement there called We Are All Friends. So this will be the last one and we will move on to day nine. Here we are, the moon star, day nine's coming up. And first, who we're going to serve then is going to be not a um, guy who looks like Hitman, if you ordered him from Wish, but it's going to be Fisher the Flapface. Here she comes. Oh, and she's with old Snaggletooth Mutant Ninja Turtle. Hello. Uh, she wants a Marrakesh, so we're going to give her green tea, mint, and mint. So that's green tea, mint and mint, and then brew it up. And then again, Snaggletooth, uh, Mutant Ninja Myrtle. Uh, she's going to want to drink immediately after it. Called a Tetaric. Tetaric? Yeah. Which is tea, tea, and milk. So it's it's basically, uh, uh, it's just a brew, isn't it? It's just a cup of tea. Tea, tea, and milk. I think that's the first time we've seen Myrtle smile. Maybe she like at the fish at the flap, huh? Potentially, potentially. Right, in comes Rachel, who wants a Chocobi Miruku, which sounds fantastically delicious, by the way. And it's going to be um, chocolate, honey, and milk. So that's chocolate, honey, and milk, and blamissimo. Idly ho, depressed Reno, what can I get diddly hit you for? Well, apparently he's going to want a Spanish Sahara, which is chocolate, milk, and ginger. So that's chocolate, milk, and ginger. Brew that up, and then after the conversation, um, either Rod or Todd here, who has apparently transformed into a beautiful woman, which... I mean, Rod or Todd, you never knew which. You never knew what was going to happen when they grew older. Um, yeah. That Rod or Todd's looking pretty damn fine these days. Anyway, they're going to get into an argument. And Flanders is going to be like, Yeah, yeah, ever since Mark passed away, eh, diddly, eh.
And here we go then, on to day 10, Thursday, October the 1st. Now, there are only two who want something here, and the first one is going to be Freya. Here she pops, flicker the bean. Oh, no, wait, that's Neil. Um, still, he's not going to want a drink. But Neil has actually taken our body, so uh, Neil is inside us right now, so I don't know how you feel about that one. I feel pretty grossed out. But anyway, for Freya, she wants a black magic, which is coffee, mint, and honey. So coffee, mint, and honey, and that is called a black magic drink. Here she comes, it's a snaggletooth teenage mutant Myrtle. And Myrtle is going to want a jar, Jahe Tubruk. Again, sorry if I completely messed that one up. It's coffee, coffee, and ginger anyway. So that's coffee, coffee, and ginger, and you're going to brew that one. This will be the last one, and then we can go on to day 11. Here we go, and day 11. Right, we're going to be getting an achievement, finally. We haven't had one of those for a while. First of all, we're going to get chocolate, ginger, and cinnamon for Baileys, who has a bitter heart. That's what the drink's called. So chocolate, ginger, and cinnamon. 
brew it up. And now for this one, we're going to purposefully make Freya the wrong drink. Again, it's all for the best reason, so don't worry about that. It's for an achievement later on. But she wants a triple coffee. We're not getting it. What we're going to actually give her is anything else. So we'll just go with milk, cinnamon, and honey. Uh, that's actually called a bed chamber drink. And this is the wrong drink anyway. So milk, cinnamon, honey. Pour that. You're going to be like, bruh, are you taking a goddamn mick? Uh, but we're also going to get the Is This It achievement. Wow, it's trouble in paradise. So, Lua, the old horny horn horn, wants coffee ginger and cinnamon to make a gingerbread coffee. Makes sense. So that's coffee, ginger and cinnamon. Brew that one and we will also get the love of my life achievement where old elf ears and horny devil chick right there get together and are in love at last. I mean, it's kind of like Romeo and Juliet, but it seems more like Monio and Spooliet. <laughs> that was clever for me. So, just in case you were wondering, this is Gala, and Gala seems to be rather annoyed by something. So, if you ever come across a werewolf, just go ahead and give them a uh, Galahad, which is, of course, tea, milk, and ginger, and that will get you out of any situation. So, if you ever decide to go for a late night run, make sure you've got tea, milk, and ginger on you, and then if you ever come across a werewolf, stick that in his gullet, and he will be happy and leave you alone. It's incredible life advice, I tell you, I'm, I am full of it, you know? Anyway, that'll get you the Gala had a fit achievement. That will end, we'll go on to day 12. I uh, do apologize for what happened yesterday. Uh, 
My ex-girlfriend said my weenie was small when she used to say it was big. Why does everyone do that with exes? Anyway, we're going to make a coffee, honey, and a cinnamon drink called Sugar and Spice. So that's coffee, honey, and cinnamon. And apparently all is forgiven. So again, if you do get attacked by a werewolf, just let him buy you a drink afterwards of tea. And, uh, phew, well, you should forgive him. That's very nice. And Gala's also going to get one himself, which is, of course, the Gala had, which is going to be tea, milk, and ginger once again. So here comes the female Rod or Todd, whichever one decided to become the um, woman and call herself Rachel, which is all good with me. Um, she is going to want a cafe latte, which is coffee, milk and milk. So coffee, milk and milk. Um, now you may get the social media fever achievement unlock now. If it doesn't unlock now, it will unlock in the next day. So don't panic your sweet buns about them, huns. And, of course, we're going to get um, Hi Diddly Ho, Arenos. It's time for a depressant Flanderino style. Oh, yeah, because he got attacked by something. Anyway... To cheer cats up, just give him a triple milk express. There we go. Milk, milk, milk. Smash it down him. And then we'll be on to the penultimate day. We've only got one day to go. We've only got one day to go. Because if you really want to know, when it really want to go, you really want to go, you really So, what are we going for? We're going for a triple express here for Georgie. The old paranoid corrupt cop, which I was just joking, because there are no paranoid or corrupt cops, of course. So, coffee, coffee, coffee for the man in blue. Oh, and apparently that... Uh, in fact, here, this is where the social media fever achievement unlocked for me so we'll either unlock for you now or it would have a little bit earlier on either way it'll still unlock and here comes the ever beautiful rod or todd um she's just going to want a triple chocolate extreme so chocolate 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 for the dark chocolate drink there we go uh, we will also get another achievement here called Father and Daughter. And then that'll actually be the end of this. And we've got one more day to go.
So this is one that we're actually not going to be doing anything. Literally, all you're going to be doing is hitting the right bumper down to fast forward through all the dialogue. We're not making everyone's drinks. We're just chilling, killing, illing, dog. Now, don't we all love a happy ending? So, see what happened to all the characters, and then we're going to basically end up getting four achievements um, when all the credits are done. So you'd already seen, if you followed the guide, you would have got the Art Connoisseur achievement for collecting all the pieces of art. In this little scene right here, you will get the There's a Spark achievement. Just smash through this scene. And then after this one, it's only a very short scene, so just smash through it and tell him that, mate, just move your hair a little bit so you can see better. Uh, but that'll also get you the Interstellar Support achievement, plus the Is That It achievement. So that's four achievements. You should have smashed out right there. Right. So we have to load back into the game and replay just four days. The first one, if we go back to load game and go to day one, uh, September 22nd, which should be the first, very first day. Um, now, basically, we're playing the day again. Um, but if you have been following, the there will be certain differences in, in the dialogue this time. So if you remember what they were talking about the first time, some things are going to be a little bit different. Um, but if you haven't been bothering, then you can just fast forward through everything. And we'll just, we still have to do the drinks and everything. We have to complete the day. Uh, but again, there are only four days we have to replace. First off, Afreya, it's the espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Hello, 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 Lua. How you doing, mate? Right. Lua this time is going for a chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. So that's what she's giving. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate for the lovely dark chocolate drink. Next up then, we're going to give old Bailey ears, uh, Bailey's ears right here, some cappuccino. So it's coffee, coffee and milk. 
So that's coffee, coffee, and milk. And we're going to draw the latte art for him again. And unfortunately, the breakup still happens, even though uh, he sort of looked sad and then looked real pissed at me. Don't blame me, kid. Uh, green tea, milk, and milk for the green tea latte. Green tea, milk, and milk. And then when this date is over, we can just reload and go back to the main menu. So then, when you can, we are going to pause it. It'll probably be here on the newspaper page. So, um, you should be able to just load game right there. But if you are like me and a little bit paranoid, you can return to the main menu. Go back to load game. And we're going to go for day three, Thursday, September the 24th this time. That's day three, September 24th, 2020. And we're going to replay this one and smash through all the dialogue and drink up all the drinks once again. So, first of all, it's going to be Snaggletooth Teenage Mutant Ninja Myrtles. Uh, she wants a honey milk, so that's going to be, once again, honey... Uh, no, sorry, milk first. So milk first, and then double honey. So milk, honey, and honey. And of course, if you remember last time, then Rachel, the old cat, will appear and we're going to give her a triple milk. So that's milk, 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 and then brew it up. Or, you know, put it in a cup and give it to her. It's either way. Once Freya has finished yakety yakking, she's going to want the triple coffee express once again. So that's coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew it up, boy. And here we go then, finally for this day, Georgie is going to appear, he wants the cough syrup, so again that's going to be green tea, lemon and honey, so that's green tea, lemon and honey, and then once again, once you fast forward and once this day is over, we can go back to the main menu to select the third 
replaying the day. So here it is then, once the newspaper appears, let's pause, let's go to the main menu. And once we go ahead and load up the game, we're going to go to day 8, which is Tuesday, September the 29th. So we're going to go to September 29th, day 8, and replay this one. So we've got three drinks to make this time. Oh, oh. So then, Mr. Had is up next, Gala Had, and once again, of course, he's going to want a tea, milk, and ginger. So tea, milk, and ginger. May I ask your opinion, Flicker the Bean? Um, <laughs> of course. Uh, no, we are going for tea, lemon, and honey, which is uh, the Midsummer's Night Dream. So that's tea, lemon, and honey. Here he comes to wreck the day. Nope, Neil is back. And what he wants, once again, is a Milky Way, which is going to be milk, honey, and mint. So that's milk, honey, and mint.
So now we're going to move on to the last day, which is going to be day 14. So again, head to the main menu, go ahead and load the game. And we go for the last one, day 14, Sunday, October 18th, 2020. And again, remember this one, you don't have to do or make any drinks. Literally just going to fast forward all the dialogue and eventually the credits will roll and then we will finally unlock the God of Caffeine achievement. I am the God of Caffeine, you know. Righty, oh mate. So since that's the basically the story done now, um, we're going to uh, gather up the final few achievements. So we're going to head to endless mode first, and um, we've just got six more drinks to make. If you've been following the guy so guide so far, head to free brew. If you've been following the guide so far, you should only have six more drinks left to make. First up is going to be tea, milk, and cinnamon. So tea, milk, and cinnamon. There it is. And again, you know, we don't have, there's no pressure. There's no rush or anything like that. So we'll take it. This is called a shy a die. Shy a die. Next up, we're going to do a Shin Genmaicha, which is green tea, green tea and cinnamon. So green tea, green tea and cinnamon. And you will make the Shin Genmaicha. Or Genmaicha or something. Something which I'm butchering anyway. So next up is going to be called the green... <laughs> The Grinch. It's a green tea, it's a ginger, and it is a little bit of cinnamon in there as well. Da, 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 da. The Grinch. Green tea, ginger, cinnamon. And now we're going for a little bit of British royalty after this one. We're getting one called the Spiced Lady, don't you know? This one is chocolate, milk, and cinnamon. So chocolate, milk, and cinnamon. You will get one that is called the Spice Lady Art, and it will have a little bit of latte art and foam and everything. Look how delicious this looks. Pure, pure Britian. God, why do posh British people speak like that? That is frustrating. Uh, next up, we're going for milk, mint, and lemon. So milk, mint, and lemon, which is called Le Menthol, which I guess can only assume is French because of the Le. Le Menthol. And finally, for the final one, we are going to get what's called a lemony snippet, and that is milk, honey, and lemon. So milk, honey, and lemon. Once you've brewed this, you will get the Master Brewer achievement. Um, and again, if there, if there is anything that you are missing, I'm going to be putting in the description um, a link to the website where they've got a whole list of all the drink names and what ingredients you have to do in order to 
well in order to do it. So that will come in mega handy, especially for the challenges later on. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back out here, of course, go back to load game, and we're just going to start up day one, Tuesday the 22nd of September again. So this time we are going to get the two achievements relating to trashing the drinks. So once you've trashed your first drink, again, it doesn't matter what you make, you can just keep spamming the A button to get a triple coffee. Make sure, though, that you trash it. And we need to be doing uh, trashing 25 times, so... Um, you are going to need to replay this five times. So we need to trash 25 drinks. You're going to have to replay day one uh, five times. So, like I said, coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew it. And then when the option comes up, make sure to trash it. So that'll get us the let me start over. I'm so sorry. Let me start over achievement. And then you just keep going. So keep spamming coffee, 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 brew it, and just make sure to trash it. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Just make sure that, I mean, even if you do accidentally brew it, just trash the next drink um, and then just reload your save once again. When we do get down to, you only get, like I said, you only get five during your day. So once you get down to zero, we're going to go back to main menu. We're going to reload. And then we're just going to keep doing this until the Stop It achievement unlocks. And here we go, the lovely sound of a rare achievement. So once we got Stop It, what we're going to do, we're going to press the X button now to bring up the phone menu, which is in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, choose the bottom right app here, which is called Shuffled, and then press Y to bring up the playlist. So all you're going to do is just click on each song, uh, which is about 23, I believe, 23 or 24. Just play it, leave it for a second or two, and then just keep going through all of them, and you'll unlock the Arami Gendru achievement. Normally, of course, you would hear what the music sounds like, but, um, well, they decided to get rid of my video for that, didn't they? So, <laughs> thank you. Anyway, keep clicking on all through the songs. Even if you get to the bottom, get back to the top. Arami Gendru will unlock. So once that has unlocked then, what we're going to do now is get the hour-long achievement. So make sure to do sort of just coffee, milk, and milk. So make sure you need to make an ingredient which will give you the opportunity to draw latte art. Now for whatever particular reason, now for this playthrough, I was playing, again, make sure to choose latte art. Now, just as long as you are on this next screen for a total of one hour. So if you want, have a look at the time and just make sure, or oh, put a stopwatch down. Have a look at the time or whatever. Just make sure that after an hour or, you know, give it an hour and one minute, an hour and two minutes. Uh, that definitely doesn't look like what I would expect it to look like. Uh, well, it's, it's absolutely nothing. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so you've got to stay on the screen for an hour. When I was making the guide on my other account, when I went to look for achievements, it would go off. And then it would turn into my main account for some reason. So just keep an eye on that one. Just make sure that you are staying on that screen for a whole hour. Make sure that the controller doesn't go off or anything, okay? Uh, so just make sure that you have stayed on that screen. Every now and again, just tweak the Xbox control to make sure that you let it know that you're there. And then after an hour, you will get the Art Takes Time achievement. Now, you didn't see me unlock it on screen there. But once that is done, as I said, Art Takes Time... You've just left it there for an hour. Um, we will now go on to challenge mode. Now, there are three achievements tied to this one. And basically, so what will happen is the customer, of course, is going to order something. We can actually pause as soon as that customer orders something. 
and we can actually see what appears on the screen, uh, which is always worth doing because to begin with, there's only a minute and a half on the timer when the game starts. Like I said, pausing will allow you to find the basically the right drink before we make it. Every time we make the right drink, more time will be added to the timer. So we have to make up to 50 correct drinks before the timer runs out in order to get all the achievements. Um, so yeah, what we're going to be doing, we're pausing. And then what I'm going to do, like I said, in the description, I'm also going to um, add the list and I'll put it in the comment section as well. So I'll direct you to a website where it has the whole um, list. So we'll have the whole list name um, of the drink names, the brews, and whether it's warm, cool, sweet, or bitter. And I will explain why it is highly important to have a look at this list as you're going along. Because eventually it's going to get a bit trickier where people are going to ask for things like, oh, can I have a not cool, less sweet, extra warm, and less bitter drink, please? And that is obviously going to destroy your brain. Uh, so that is why I will put the list as I said, in the description or in the comments section, pretty much both, so that you can click on the list. And then every time that a customer appears with an order, you can then literally just pause it, have a look through the list, make sure then that you can see what you can see. And then you can make that specific drink to get that one right. Because uh, if you were going to be doing this on its own without any help, boy, you've got to be damn good at this game. Uh, but as I said, it's going to start off easy. It's going to get a little bit more difficult. So the first couple of drinks, the customer's going to tell us exactly what they want. Then they're going to ask for either a two or a three ingredient drink. And they're going to say something like honey tea, which means that they'd want tea first and then honey, honey. I'll come back to that in just a little bit, though. So as I said, for now, what you can do is just pause the, uh, pause the game and you can see that she wants chocolate, chocolate and chocolate. Very easy enough. So that's what you're going to make her there. So cheers, Myrtle Snaggletooth. Nice and easy job done. So we don't really need the list for this particular one. So next up, they're just going to go with coffee, ginger, and coffee. Again, you have to make that in the correct way, how they say it as well. So coffee, ginger, and coffee. And that'll be two. And as you can see in the top right-hand corner, you can see the time. You can also see how many you've got right and how many you've got wrong. So, of course, next up, it's going to be coffee, ginger, and coffee. These are all going to be random as well. So that's why um, you'll see me edit it down a little bit as well, because they're all going to be random. I'm just going to tell you exactly what to do when we get there. So what you can see here, Aqua wants honey cinnamon milk. Now, when you go for a two or three ingredient drink here, what you have to do is add the last ingredient first, and then the first ingredient, and then the second ingredient. That can be quite confusing, but once you've done a couple, it'll you'll get used to it. So when you see someone ask for, again, either lemon tea or honey tea, if it's a two-drink ingredient, and they ask for, just say lemon tea, what you need to do is add the last ingredient first. So if you say, le if they ask for lemon tea, you need to give them tea first, and then lemon and lemon, okay? And then if it's a three-ingredient drink like it is here, what we're going to be doing is adding the milk first, because we're going to be adding the last ingredient, and then honey and cinnamon. So again, I'll try and explain it again one more time. Hopefully you've got that one. It does get easier as it goes on, but every time you see something like this and there's no commas in it, as I said, if it's lemon tea or honey cinnamon milk, again, you add the last ingredient first, then the first, and then the second one. So as you can see, we're going to go for milk, then honey, and then cinnamon. And then if you get another one with two ingredients, you need to add that last ingredient first and then the first ingredient two times. I hope that's not particularly confusing. Uh, but as you can see, so Officer Georgie wants mint tea. So you'd put tea first and then mint mint. Okay. So because that's a two ingredient drink. So you put tea first and then mint mint. So hopefully that's not so bad and that's not as confusing. So eventually a little bit later on, they're going to ask for a specific drink. So what you need to do is go down the list uh, with the website that I give you, look for the STMJ, and make sure to put whatever it is in there, in the correct order as well. So for an STMJ, it's milk, ginger, and honey. And again, remember, you have to put it in the correct order, otherwise it will not work. And then, of course, what we've got then is one Shin Genmaisha. So again, you'd pause the video, have a look for a Shin Genmaisha, and it's green tea, green tea, and cinnamon. 
And of course, it is challenge mode. So you're going to need to be sort of as quick as you can with this one. Then eventually, a little bit later on, we're going for the extra stuff. So we need to find any drink. Literally, if you look through the list, um, the, you just need to find one drink that has extra warm in it. Okay. Of course, they get in extremely demanding and specific. So, for instance, uh, you can get a Galahad, which is extra warm, a Masala Chai, which is extra warm, a Jar Tubrak, uh, Tubrak, whatever it's called, sorry, which is extra warm, a Ginger Latte, which is extra warm. So, whichever one you find, and you go, right, that's extra warm. Again, make sure that you put the um, ingredients in the correct order. So, for instance, here, green tea, ginger, ginger, or for a ginger latte, coffee, ginger, milk. And then, and then again, they'll start popping up with two. So for this one, I've got extra bitter and not cool. So again, you would go down the list and make sure to find one that a drink, any drink that is extra bitter and not cool. Now, uh, there we go. So we get one for 25, something less cool. So again, you find something that's less cool. Now, if you don't happen to find a drink, which may be a little bit common, especially when they start asking for four ingredients or four specific things like this for flavor profiles, sorry. Um, it's easier just to make them the wrong drink wrong drink and carry on if you can't find it on the list Make them the wrong drink and just carry on So here we've got uh, someone that wants extra bitter Less cool and less sweet. So of course as you go down the list it seems to get a little bit more uh, Complicated, but as soon as you found that then which for me is going to be tea. It's going to be ginger It's going to be cinnamon and you're going to brew that one Ding dong, that is a masala chai. So, as I said, we're starting to get to the point now where I've only got two left, as you can see in the top right-hand corner. I've got two left until I get the achievement, but I think I get six in a row where what they're asking for with four flavor profiles, I cannot see and cannot find on the list at all. So if you go through the list and you cannot see and you cannot find it, what we're going to do is literally just make up any particular drink Brew it, and then old Flanders is going to be like, oh, darn, darn diddly arn. And he's going to be fuming. And of course, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, you start getting some frowny faces. But just keep doing that. Don't waste any time trying to impress him with something. If you can't find it on the list, make him a wrong drink. Go for the next one. Finally, after the sixth attempt in a row, um, I finally get one which works. And that's with Neil, which is a green tea, ginger, ginger. And that is how you complete the challenges, and that is how you do it very, very easily. And after you get the Barista Guru, of course, providing that you've got, you've had the, um, the achievement for the one hour achievement there. Sorry, I was trying to think what it's called. I think it's, uh, it's called Art Takes Time. So providing you've got that one, you will also get the Coffee and Chill achievement, um, for completing the game. And that'll be all 24 out of 24 achievements. So that is it then, guys and gals. So hopefully this video is not going to be taken down this time, so I appreciate it if it wouldn't. Just in time for Coffee Talk 2. Uh, but there we go then, guys and gals. So again, if this is the first time you're playing, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as always. A big shout out to all my uh, Patreon supporters. Again, absolute legends of the highest order. Thank you so much. And I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big nerve.